Hi and welcome to another video on our Vosterian 108th Army. This video is all about painting. Uh, we're just doing some test colours on a few of the models. I actually uh, did a little, had a little play with this chap here, painting him up in a nice Caliban green. So we're going to paint a few models, a few more models just like him. This video is just all about that, putting the different colours on. This is kind of the first time I've painted in about 15 years, so it's going to be a nice little way to get back into it. I'm not going to talk too much through this video. I'm just going to uh, speed up the footage so that you can see everything that's going on as we do it. And then hopefully see the finished result. So the first colour that I'm using here is a Caliban Green. This is going over a base coat of just Chaos Black spray. So we spray the model with Chaos Black, let that dry. I did a couple of models here at the same time just to try and uh, balance between painting time and drying time. But yeah, this first coat going around the around the material, the coat itself is this Caliban green. Also doing between the uh, armour plates. We then move on to uh, giving the, all the metal a coat of lead belcher. So this lead belcher goes on uh, everything that is metal on this model, the lead belcher goes on next. Try not to get it over the Caliban green that we've already done. Now this includes the edging of the coat, this includes uh, the face mask, the respirator units, areas of the LAS rifle that we're going to have as well. Making sure we get both models with this. So the brushes we're using here, we've got a base, a small base brush and uh, medium and small layer brushes as well. And there is also later on we have a small dry brush too. Sorry for the noise of my uh, dog in the background, whining. She just wants some attention, doesn't know why I'm talking to myself. So once we've got the uh, metal painted up, that's in lead belcher, then we move on to the wood. So we're doing the wood of the las guns, which we're doing in Rhinox hide. I wanted to keep it as a pretty uh, small number of paints, even though I've got a load of paints out, I'm only gonna use about seven or eight paints to do these models, just to try and cut down on time. So then we're using a dry brush to do the same color, Rhinox hide, over the hat. So just really use your dry brush, get a, a very little amount of paint on there, and then use that dry brush to work it into the hat. We then move on to Mournfang Brown, which we're doing over the boots and the pouches, any of the sort of leather areas that you'd find. So they're just going on Mournfang Brown. You've got to make sure that you're not, again, spilling this onto any of the other colors that you've done, so it gets a bit more fine at this point. Um, I'm leaving the sort of the, the underside of the coats of these Vosterians, I'm leaving them black so that you haven't got to worry about painting in between his legs and stuff because he's just got a nice coat of black there. That will stay in shadow. And then, yeah, go around, get all those pouches, get those boots. We've then got a little bit of a, a bad and black just to, to cover up a couple of mistakes we might have made, but also to paint in some of the details around the barrels of the las guns, for example, and the um, the bayonets. We then move on to Balthazar Gold. Uh, we use quite a wet brush for this as well, but this is just going around any of the highlighted metal. So the edges of the shoulder plates I'm doing in this, I'm doing the elbow guards as well, and I'm doing the face plates with this Balthazar Gold. And it sits really nicely on top of that lead belcher because it's sort of translucent, you can see through it, and that gives a really nice effect. For the face masks themselves, uh, I've got a lot of this Balthazar Gold as well. Also done the, the butt of the rifle with this too. A bit more black on there, just picking up a couple of studs and filling in a couple more details. Then moving over, we've got the, uh, this is Screaming Skull, which we're using to do the uh, rosettes and ribbons, and also picking out a couple more details with that. And then we're moving on to a little bit of, uh, this is Mephiston Red that we are using for uh, picking out some of the details on the las gun and the eyes and then some white scar to pick out things like skulls and uh, also the dots on the eyes themselves. We then take an Agrax earth shade and we go over the whole model with a very light coat of this just working it into all the, the gaps. I don't want to throw something like Narn or oil all over this model just to give this a nice sort of blend to go on. 
and that's a really quite straightforward tabletop finish. Now the only other details we did here is after that oil, as that earth shade has gone on, we actually went and we did a dry brush with the white scar on the hat as well, which gives it that really nice look on the hat. So that's the models and that's how we gave them a quick tabletop finish.